Y'all already know what's going on. Big shout out to the homie KKF Young Dolph on that record. Bobby Critical on the production. It's your girl, Tampa Mystic. Highly unique radio. Such the guy. What's happening, man? Hey, you already know, man. It's a beautiful Thursday. It's cold, but it's beautiful. Word. It is a little chilly out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a true Floridian, so I'm still not fully used to all of this cold weather. You know what I'm saying? Like anything below 60 is too cold for me. Right. For real, for real. We got a special guest in the building today. Blazer, what's happening? Yo, 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 what's poppin', man? It's your boy Blazer, man. Me and him, man. I'm on the band of drum, man. Last of music group. What's poppin'? What it do? Man, listen, I'm excited that you're here with us today. You out here doing big things, making moves. Hey, I'm excited myself, man. I'm trying to make the biggest move and the best move and make my next move the best move. You know I've been saying? paying attention. You know what I'm saying? I've been really watching your movement. I've been paying attention. That's why I reached out. And I don't. I won't keep all the way real. And I say it. I don't reach out to a lot of people directly for interviews. They typically will hit us up, and that's facts. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, you gonna come through? I see you making the moves. I see you working. I see people fucking with you with your movement. You know what I'm saying? So how long have you been doing music? I've been doing music since I was a kid, but I just really I'll be going hard with it right now. Since I've been out, so I would say about a year and a half, about a year now. So it's real hard. So the music that you're putting together basically is coming from all the experiences that you've been through? Experience of my life, man. That's what I just dropped Old Blaze World for. Hosted by DJ Toko as a Smart World NT. You know, Shout out to the mayor of the streets. Mayor of the streets. I fuck with him, Boy, man. man. Uncle he, Fish Grease. I fuck, I fuck with him, man. Like He he and I do good business together. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, he, we do good business hey, together. Real stand up guy. So, same thing with Smart World. Good dude. That's, that's my man, man. I've been fucking with me since I've been pushing them music, man. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're some of the ones out here. When you out here in the city, you gotta know yeah, those guys. Know you know what I'm saying? You gotta shout out DJ Toe Cards. You gotta know Smart World, the mayor of the streets, all that. Y'all gotta know them. Facts. So, how many projects have you put out so far? This is my really first project. I've Your first on. real deal project. Real deal, like my first mixtape, Blazers World. I've just been. Grinding this whole year to get my face out there, marketing myself, promoting myself. You've been doing a good job with it dropping too. Dropping singles, <laughs> uh, you know. Then it, after so many singles, then I was just like, it's time to drop some. You know, I, I pay attention. I'm really big with social media, and it's very, very, very important. It's a big part of branding yourself. Right. It's social media. Yeah. And one thing that I've noticed about you, and I'm gonna brag on you for a minute. Shout out to Blazer. Right. Is you really, really like put yourself out there and you gotta do that like you promote yourself you post this and you post that you gotta stay very active because people pay attention to shit like that man, what man you gotta put yourself up you gotta market yourself you gotta promote yourself you know what I mean your biggest my biggest investment is myself you know? facts because you know you're the brand. Yeah, brand you are the you are the brand yes. and it's like if you ain't out here doing it you can't expect other people to believe in you because if you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect nobody to believe in you. You know Facts. what I mean? You got to believe in yourself first, man. Real tough, man. And then I got the mindset, you got to always outwork the next man. Because the next man might be working two times harder than you. And guess what? You got to outwork yourself, too. Yeah, what you um, did yesterday, you got to you gotta double that today. What you did in 2017, if you, if you did man, look, three radio interviews this year, you better do five next year. Man, my goal <laughs> next year is to Spain. I'm trying to go out <laughs> to the West Coast, man. I'm trying to move, move around out of the States, man. That's my next plan this year. That's my goal this year, man. Move around and spread this music, get myself out there more. Is there anybody out in the West Coast that you like to work with? Maybe producers or any artists that you would like to connect with out there? Oh, man. DJ Mustard. I'm about to say you gotta fuck with DJ Mustard. You gotta fuck with Mustard. Shout out DJ Mustard. Hey, you gotta fuck with Mustard. Yeah, you gotta fuck with Mustard. Recorded it. For real, man. Adventures music, shout out to Adventures music. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's facts. You can't go to the West Coast and not yeah, fuck with Mustard. Yeah, definitely, man. For a future, I got to have more. My, my guy Snoop on E40. On oh, yeah. Face. First off. Yes. Shout out Doggy Style yeah. Records. You know what I'm saying? I got to have, gotta have the more OGs. OGs on yeah. Them, man. Them first, man. If I do a feature, man, then we'll get around to everybody else, man. Just real talk, man. I got to have the OGs. Word. Yeah. Absolutely. Because they are the ones that really, like, paved the way in this music business. Right. And they were doing it before all this social media like, shit. You know, the, the, the West meeting with the South and doing that type of music though, you know what I mean? It's just like that. It's just collaborations, man. That'd be collaboration right here. So on uh the project Blazers World, do you have any features on there? Yeah, I got uh Band of Game, Fargo, Money Bang Boy. Shout out to Money, Money Bang, Bang Boy. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy, man. We got a track called All I Know, man. 
It's a dope track, man. Money, money, bag. I seen you post it. I was like, man, that's the homie right that's there. My bro, man. Oh, AKA no. CK. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's the homie. Man, them boys, they want man. I'm cool, man. Eastside niggas, man. Yeah. Dope. What's up, man? And uh, who else? I got uh, oh my boy, uh, Ray Ray the singer, man. Dope. dope. He from Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. Okay. The man's dope with the pen. <laughs> That's the dope. He's dope, man. So you know, I got a couple good features on that, man. You know what I mean? How's the project doing? How are people fucking with it? Shit, right now I think everybody's fucking with it. You know. Oh, you no, you, you, hey, hold on one second. Wait, wait, we, we, we gonna, we, we gonna clear that up real quick. Hold on. What you mean? We gotta hit the fucking mean button. What you mean? You say what you want. Look, boy, he looks like a deer in the headlights. He's like, because I was in the streets nine four five one time. Like, damn, I said that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can say what we want here, which is really dope. Yeah, man. Thing. I see you got some production from my producer, Shawty Fresh. Man, like that's, man, that's my boy. I'm, I'm fucking with Fresh a long way, man. I got like three, four songs with Fresh. We gotta, we gotta make it happen again. One on there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make it happen again. Three, four songs. Then I got two tracks from Fresh, man. Just man, dope. I got one made back hot. It's just real dope. Shout out to yeah, he's dope too. My boy, dope man. Another you understand me? So he came up with the name Blazer. Blazer. Blazer uh, came from you know, the game. I'm just telling you that. Right there. Blazer. I got you. Enough said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> say no more, Mr. Say No More. Yeah, yeah. Dope. That's so for people who who are not familiar with Blazer. Like, what you want them to know about you as an artist? You want me, you want me, me as an artist? Yeah. Like, what do you want people oh, to know I'm about you? I'm very competitive. I'm very competitive. I'm very outgoing, and I'm very. <laughs> I'm real deal with this shit, man. I'm ready to go at whatever got this shit, man. Just real time. He works hard, but he's humble though, and I love that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that's so important as an artist that you gotta, your grind has got to be crazy. Yeah, man. But you gotta stay humble at the same time. Stay that's tough, humble, man. Because I done seen some, I done seen million dollar niggas fall because they want humble. Yes, nobody wants to fuck with an asshole. You didn't fall. You wonder why ain't nobody fucking with you now because you ain't that million dollar nigga no more. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's all facts. That's all facts. So the project is available where? Places well. Man, my mixtapes right now, man. Hosted by DJ Topo at Mayo the Street and Smart Brother and T, man. You gotta be to check it out, man. So, and it's on my website, Blazer World. Blazers at com. You know what I mean? So the, the songs that are on the project, did you specifically do those songs for that project? Or did you just have a collab of music and you had to narrow it down? Yeah, I had so much music that I just... Yeah. I see. I like how you spoke it already. It's it's already written. <laughs> too. Coming soon to a mixtape site near you. Yeah. Do you have a no DJ version that you're gonna put out on like the streaming sites? On streaming sites, man. On Spotify, man. We got one. We finna put out. We finna go ahead and put it together now, man. On my Spotify. You know, yeah, I got Spotify iTunes. I yeah. Got I think that's important. You gotta definitely have that too. You know what I'm saying? That's where the money comes in from all them streams. I got that bad. Produce my Joe Boy on iTunes, so y'all go check it out right now, man. You know, uh, I got all um, my putting everything together. So it's coming. So if such and such and I was to roll up on you and you got the studio working. What's the vibe gonna be like when we walk in? The vibe, the vibe is gonna be real good. I, don't, I can't work unless it's a good vibe. Like I'm one of the guys that get to the studio. I don't want you to send me some beats. I might want you to sit right here and make one first. Yeah. Time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Or you got some beat, bring And I'm just go. I might go through about 20 beats before I pick one. Damn near all you beats before I just pick one that right. I heard. I'm going to go with what I'm feeling. You know what you you feeling at that minute. At that moment, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know. And do you typically write and or just kind of freestyle it as you go? Or do you write, like, what's your, what's your creative process? for When you hear the beat, how do you put a record together? Sometimes how I feel to go in there. Just sometimes I might have something already written for producers. If a producer send me a beat, I'm gonna write some. I might write a hook or something to it, but I might go in there and just do my verse. But all of it still is like you just writing at the same time. You just you know what I mean? Right. Right in front of the mic instead of putting it on the pen and just coming right at your mouth straight up. I think 
I think that that's where the best records come from because it's that moment's emotion being put into the song rather than you sitting around thinking about it. Not to say that that's wrong like, or it's not. <laughs> like, I have a few songs like Shout out to the one that you might play, unless you're gonna play right now. Shout out for the producer, it's called Like No Tomorrow. And I remember when I made that track, I just went in there and just went number some good Hennessy, <laughs> <laughs> some good weed. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the beat from Fresh and it was just over with. <laughs> and it was a good vibe. It was just a good vibe. I was just in there. <laughs> they come out the booth until I finish the song, right? <laughs> There's no tomorrow. I swear to God. There's no tomorrow. Man. So we got to check it out. Can we listen to this one first? Yeah, yeah man. So how, how long ago did you record this record? Man, what? There we go. You want to know too? <laughs> what, what's, what's old to you? What's old to me? Oh, that's brand new, baby. That's brand new. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Put it on the The fuck you mean? That record is brand new. I know it seems old to you because you probably heard it. Like I can say, like when I put it out there, I played it. I think I played it in diamonds one night. And Pooh said it was. That was it. Pooh said run that, run that one. Shut out the homie Big Pooh. Yeah, that one called Big Pooh. Pooh said that was it. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like when you get other people telling you that's it, you got to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? With it, you know what I mean? Get the people what they want. Yeah, like I'm definitely going to get the people what they want. Blazers like, world is what they want. Nine times out of <laughs> ten, you know what I mean? If you feel you make good music, then you have people that's going to gravitate to it. You know facts. I mean? That's yeah. facts. I make great music. Well, dope. Well, we about to check it out. We are gonna premiere it right here. You know what I'm saying? So I just need you to introduce the record, and then I also what is what I need you to do is just kind of stand up and just turn it for us a little bit, make it look real good for the camera. Can you do that for us? Oh, uh, we got some, we got some moves for us. <laughs> Let me find out you got moves. <laughs> ooh, 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 ah. You gotta you make them trap beats, but you gotta like bring some other elements too. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and he's been doing a really good job with that. Yeah, that motherfucker's hard, yeah, like, extra yeah, hard. That yeah, shit is man. dope. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Is that record available like on it's the digital on outlets? Tape, man, it's on my it's on my mixtape, man. You know what I mean? It's on my mixtape. But if they wanna actually go and buy it, it's available on the digital outlet yet or for streaming? It's not, it's not on, on no. You need streams. to put it on there yesterday. Come on, <laughs> baby. Yeah, For real, cause that motherfucker, I think a record like that is gonna just take the fuck off. It's a hot ass fucking record. Like I say, poo fucking with it, smut fucking with it. We fucking with it. Fuck we gonna keep that bitch in rotation man, over man, here. We look, man. I appreciate it. Fuck, we finna goddamn go with it, then. Man, that's that. That <laughs> shit. And, and not just because Shawty Prince is my producer. Like I don't give a fuck who produced it. The record is fucking hard. Like it's a it's a dope ass fucking record. So that's what you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. The fuck you mean? The fuck you mean? That's what's up. So you brought us another record. Um. With with Ray is Ray Ray is the one that you was telling us about? Yeah, 
from one of those other people. This one's also on the project as well? Yes, this is on the project. I just shot a video for it. Oh, okay. That was going to be my next question. <laughs> Okay, y'all, let's sneak peek real quick. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna check out this record too. Um, introduce the name of the record again. Who featured it? Who produced it? Hey, man, this record right here is called Thug It Up. Thug It Up, you know what I mean? Do it right boy, Lil' Soda Beat Breaker. Featured my boy, Ruddy Ray. Featured my boy, Chris Spade. You know what I mean? Let's get it. 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 Let's get it.
Take some pictures, you already know. We don't document the shit until it fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Updated TV in here, capturing all the good footage. We're gonna step outside and take a few pictures. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna run this other record back one more time because this motherfucker's so hard. You know what I'm saying? No tomorrow. Produced by Shawty Fresh. Lays a bitch. <laughs> Yo, 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 what the fuck poppin', man? Just finish up that radio interview right here with How You Need Radios Industries, Most Wanted Radio Show. You know what I mean? Tampa Misty, DJ Such Shit. It's your boy Blazer, bitch. And shout out to Updated TV, you understand me, man? It's Blazer, bitch! Let's get out of here.